Hello, my name is Bushra Habib, and this online module is a general overview of the side effects that you or your loved ones might experience when you begin cancer chemotherapy for treatment of lung cancer. So what is cancer chemotherapy? Cancer chemotherapy involves the use of medications or chemical agents in order to help cure cancer by targeting and killing cancerous cells. The use of chemotherapy does not mean that the cancer will always be eliminated and the patient will be fine. While this is one application of chemo, not all cancers respond well or at all to chemotherapy. Aggressive cancers, such as types of small cell lung cancers, may fall into this category. Therefore, other uses of chemo include trying to limit the spread of cancerous cells or to provide relief of cancer-associated symptoms. Small cell lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer makes up between 10 to 15 percent of total lung cancer cases and appears to be strongly associated with smoking tobacco. Specifically, it is associated with how much and for how long a patient smokes tobacco. As a result, small cell lung cancer is often seen in elderly patients who are heavy smokers, whether they did so in the past or are presently continuing. These patients typically have more than one health condition affecting their lungs and cardiovascular systems, which makes it harder to treat their aggressive cancers. Originally, small cell lung can cancer patients were given one chemotherapy medication, but researchers found that combining medications was more effective against the disease. This is called combination chemotherapy. A broad look at side effects. So what are side effects? Well, they're the result of, a chemo of the chemotherapy's impacts on the body's healthy cells. The cells that are most vulnerable to chemo are rapidly dividing, such as we see in this picture here, which actually shows two cancerous lung cells splitting away from each other as they divide and reproduce. Cancer cells, uh, the cells that are most vulnerable to chemo, are the ones that are rapidly dividing. Cancer cells meet this criteria, but so do cells in the bone marrow, hair follicles, oral cavity, GI tract, and reproductive system. Some chemotherapies can increase susceptibility to other cancers later on or cause permanent damage to vital organs. As a result, patients are often worried about the side effects of their chemotherapy, and rightfully so. However, the benefits from chemo far outweigh the costs in most cases. Some side effects can be anticipated by your healthcare team and you might receive medications to minimize or prevent them. Over time, side effects will gradually subside as the healthy cells restore themselves in most cases. Your doctor can work with you to help estimate when a particular side effect may no longer be a problem, but since every patient is unique and may respond to chemotherapy differently, an absolute prediction cannot always be made. The following slides will discuss the side effects possible with some approved medications for small cell lung cancer treatment, though each case and patient are, of course, different. Your healthcare team will work to make the best recommendations for you. So let's begin with cardiovascular side effects. These are side effects that involve the heart, blood, and blood vessels. They can include fast, irregular, or pounding heartbeats, and unusual bleeding or bruising. Next, we have neurological side effects. These are side effects that involve the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. They can include seizures, confusion or memory loss, loss of consciousness, impaired speech, fainting, and dizziness. Moving on to respiratory side effects, the following are side effects that may involve organs such as the mouth and the trachea, which helps make up the throat, organs in the mouth, and the trachea, which help make up the throat. They can include difficulty breathing or swallowing and shortness of breath. Gastrointestinal side effects. These are gastrointestinal side effects that you may experience as a result of some of your medications. And these side effects typically involve the stomach and the intestines. They can include vomiting, nausea, stomach aches, diarrhea, constipation, loss of appetite or weight. Next, we have urological side effects. These are side effects that affect the urinary system and organs such as the kidneys, bladder, and their related components.
they can include decreased urination. And then we have musculoskeletal side effects. These are side effects such as these side effects are ones you might see affecting your structures, affecting structures such as your muscles, bones, joints, ligaments, and tendons. They can include joint or muscle pain. Skin related side effects. These are skin related side effects you may experience as a result of some of your medications. These side effects can involve the hair, skin, and nails, and these can include hair loss, hives, itching, skin rash, and pale skin. When a medication is injected, there may be swelling, redness, 